My name is Sherry Stark, and I'm a roving reporter for the Climate Collaboratory, collecting and sharing stories about how we Earthlings are dealing with climate change. I'm speaking today with Victoria Alvarez, a young YouTube producer, who along with her siblings has made a number of videos on nature and climate change. Tell us, Victoria, what do you do day to day to try to help the planet? What I usually do <clears throat> is sometimes draw stuff that helps the Earth, or maybe just think of ideas that we could do. And then I just tell them to sue every week. Do you think other kids are as concerned about the planet as you are? I haven't really talked, well, I tell, I tell them a lot that they shouldn't kill ants, even though if they're in their way, because we could just walk around them instead of just killing them. That's not the only solution. I sometimes get really, really mad and confused and sad when they kill an ant because I don't understand why they have to kill it. it. You could just walk around it. And also I get mad because you just lost an innocent, innocent life. And then I get sad because of that. And ants just go outside to get food for their young and for their, um, like, and for their just colony. What? Colony? Yeah, colony. And then if they kill it, then it, then half of them will just start to death because they don't know where they've been. How do you think the world would be different if kids were in charge? Chaos. Chaos. Complete chaos. <laughs> well, first of all, it would be better, but like, because they won't build stuff that, um, that will produce gas bombs out of the world because, <clears throat> because people just do that, but, be, but they just do that for like, well, I don't really know why they have that, but they just, but it's very contaminating, but the kids don't really care why, they don't really understand why we have that. So they don't really, uh, they're in charge. They won't want to build that because they don't know what it is and they don't think it's fun. So then it would probably be better because a lot of those gas bombs won't be around anymore. But also then a lot of things, there will be, the whole world would be a playhouse. Really, they will, they will get services and build playgrounds everywhere. <laughs> with billions of swings and, and slides. Do you think kids are listened to enough? Not really, because they, they don't really, they, they, they only listen to adults because they're small and they know that, they think that even though if we're kids, we don't have, we, we don't, we're not smart enough to help the earth and stuff like that. But technically we have, we have the same knowledge that, that adults have. I see your point, and you have just as much, if not more, common sense and compassion for nature than a lot of adults I know. Thank you so much, Victoria. Keep up the good work, and we will look forward to checking out your YouTube channel at Victoria Pretty Mermaid. See you next time. And if you want to find out how you can become a roving reporter for the Climate Collaboratory yourself, or just hear more inspiring stories like this one, you can go to climatecollaboratory.org. Thanks again.